What's good? What's happening? What's lovely? My peoples, my peoples out there, I hope everything is good after the holidays. Hope you had some fun with your family, your loved ones, everybody's doing well. Uh, first off, I do apologize. I'm not actually using it. Like, I'm not capturing this off of the uh, actual laptop. I gotta use my cell phone and, like, you know, film it on from the screen. But I just wanted to do this video because one of my friend's grandparents... Um, kind of got screwed out of some money from a scam and it was kind of similar to this email that I got and I just wanted to uh, this I, honestly I was doing this just to send to her um, to kind of school her on how to look for like a scam because you know some some elderly folks they you know they, they're a little more gullible I guess because uh, they're not tech savvy or what have you I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the elderly but it is what it is, uh, you know. Some, sometimes they're just they're just not onto it, like um, the younger folks. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so what? Basically, what I wanted to do here is show you. I got this spam junk email in my junk folder, um, but it, you know, it, it looked something like an email that you'd get from a credit union or a bank or something like that. But right off the top, I noticed that see here the email address like this is in a bank's email address or a credit union's email address but yet they say it's from the uh, um, you see here it's like they say it's from the credit union from South, South, South Carolina credit union or what have you I don't even have an account with them so like right there that let me know it was a scam but then you know you got this email address right here which is some some scam email address that's not anywhere near and then you got other people's email addresses here they sent it to like 200 people first of all it would be an individual email that you get from the company it wouldn't be sent to like 500 other people and then you know they say that your account has been locked right so naturally if you had an account with this uh, credit union you'd be like oh damn like let me let me see what's going on and then they're like okay just log into this website right here right looks like a legitimate link but then as you see over here in the bottom this this web address doesn't even match up with that one. See, this one says it's www.secu.com, but then when you just put the the cursor on here, it's showing up as a b i v o a c slash m hamid dot com slash. So it's like a scam website. So you'd probably click on this, enter in all your banking information, and they'd get access to your account. And then they'd probably end up taking all your money out of your savings account. Um, so one way to prevent, you know, scams from happening is to just look at the email address that the message is coming from. The second way that I would do anyways to look for scams is not even click on the link. Just put the cursor on the link and it'll show you down here what the actual address is. Now, if they don't match up obviously it's a scam because the the hyperlink should match up with the link you know when you click on it it should be the same link. like when you click on you know google.com it'll go to google.com it won't take it to some some scam website like this right um so yeah uh, that's uh you know pretty much a straightforward one and and most of the other scam emails are similar like you just um, another thing to look for is like broken English or bad structured sentences or a lot of, you know, typos um, because, you know, professional companies aren't going to send you emails with, you know, mad spelling mistakes, bad English or just broken sentence structures. Um, that's the other way to, to, to determine whether it's, it's a legitimate uh, email. So yeah, you got your 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 email here, which is a scam email because that doesn't match up with a credit union. Because if it was a credit union or a bank uh, banking institution, you would think that the email would include some kind of indication that it is affiliated with that banking institution, not this block hoscafe e. Like that's not even a legitimate email for a, a banking institution. 
And then, like I said, it wouldn't be sent to, you know, 200 some other people, the same generic email. They're just hoping that you're dumb enough to be like, oh my God, my account is locked. That doesn't make sense. I use that account all the time. I didn't get a call from the bank. They didn't send me a letter in the mail. And I'm pretty sure you'd get some kind of notification, especially if you don't have an email set up with the uh, banking institution. Um, they would be sending you an actual physical piece of paper in the mail to let you know that your account is being closed or locked or something like that. And then the other, like I said, you, you, you just highlight, put the cursor on here. Don't even click on it. And, and you'll see the address doesn't match up. So I just wanted to uh, share this information to prevent other people from getting screwed out of their money. Because nowadays, everybody's trying to get money out of people for nothing. So protect yourself. Save your money. Don't be silly and click on links that don't make sense. You know, just just protect yourself. Keep your money in your bank account. So with that being said, thanks for checking it out. Hope this helps some of y'all. Stay safe. Peace.